graduate of York University's film and video program, Sean Cisterna began his directing career on kids' TV shows and commercials before making the leap to feature films. In 2011, Cisterna released his first feature film, the coming-of-age road trip movie, Moonpoint. Starring up-and-coming Canadian actors Nick McKinley, Kyle Mack, and Paula Brancati, the film delivered a lot of laughs and had a successful theatrical release in Toronto. It also made people take notice of Cisterna, who has been called the Canadian John Hughes. We spoke with Cisterna about his upcoming project, 30 Ghosts, a documentary on Ontario horse farmer and part-time paranormal investigator Kim Hadfield, which is currently being funded via the Hot Docs Doc Ignite program. And tell us the backstory of 30 Ghosts. This is about Kim Hadfield? Yeah, she's uh, an eccentric paranormal investigator out in Milton. She's also a horse farmer. Nice. Um, so she's had a very, um, I don't know, I would say hard life. I think even she would admit to that. And uh, I mean, the, the challenge of the story was, was getting uh, you know, deep into Kim's personal life while at the same time um, focusing on her, her ghost hunting and how that sort of makes her come out of her shell and, and overcome those barriers in her life. So Sean, after the success of Moonpoint, what made you decide to do a documentary? Um, you know, I, I'm, I don't work with a lot of public money, so it's, uh, it was a way for me to use my own equipment and, and the resources I have in the industry, colleagues and whatnot, to just go out, not apply for any grants, just go out and shoot a quick project. And this was uh, a story I'd come across and it seemed very interesting to explore. I didn't have to pay for actors or locations or anything, so I, I really embraced working with documentary. As someone who is pretty skeptical about, about these things, it was really a fun experience to be able to go into uh, abandoned buildings and cemeteries, not necessarily with permission mm. at all times. Uh, so that, that was kind of scary in itself, being at these places at night. But, um, you know, I, I enjoyed the challenge of not uh, working with a script, if you know what I mean. Documentary just mm. happens, and, and that was the, the challenge for me after doing a narrative like Moonpoint. And did you find with Moonpoint, did you find it was easy to get it on screens across Canada? Uh, I, th I think people um, related to the, the struggle of, I guess, independent filmmakers. And uh, you know, when theater chains started seeing our, our resourcefulness at, at getting audiences in based on uh, social media campaigns and, and not the traditional TV advertising, mm -hmm. that really um, uh, allowed them to take a leap of faith and to program our film in theaters across the country. Job. Aren't you? I do. I'm a ninja. And you've done kids TV shows, commercials, you've done Moonpoint obviously, now a documentary. Where do you see your career going in five, ten years down the road? Oh, um, you know, I, I know other directors have this certain mandate to do only a, a specific type of genre or, or whatnot, but you know, I just, I just like these odd, quirky characters and bizarre situations. So wh whether that be in comedy and documentary and drama, horror, it, it doesn't matter to me. As long as there, there's that one unique character on a bizarre quest, it's, that's what I tend to gravitate to. We got an email from this older lady and she wanted us to come in to investigate her house for uh, ghosts. She's just lonely and wanted some company, which sucks for us because we really wanted uh, an investigation and some action. And a wise man once said, behind one man, there's 30 ghosts. That means that the, the, the earth is so full of spirits that they're around us everywhere.